All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with new exercises for you to practice and complete, and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we're gonna to be working in the December cardio section. At the top here is a little animated video to give you a synopsis of what you're going to be doing for Craig that month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz that tests your knowledge as it relates to the video up above. Below that are all of the exercises within this section. And then at the bottom, once you have completed all of those exercises, we have some sample prompt posts that you can use for LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at our exercise. We are going to practice setting up partnership accounts. Go ahead and click on that link. And when you do, the exercise will appear for you. I have it pulled up here on the right hand side. So let's see what we're gonna do today. Craig recently ran into an old friend from high school and discovered that he too had started a landscaping business. The more they talked, the more they realized that it was a really good idea to join first forces, excuse me, and work together. They have signed all the documents and now they're ready to combine the books. So the first thing that you'll need to do to, is to set up the partnership equity accounts. So let's see how to do that. Now we're gonna be working in the sample company. And although this particular exercise does not require QBO advanced sample company, you will be using that version for all of the exercises in this section. You'll have to be in the same session of that advanced sample company. So that's why we're gonna do it for this one as well. Now remember, you need to be completely logged out of your QBOA account prior to opening the advanced sample company, which is this link down here, or it's just gonna um, load your own QBOA account. So uh, make sure that you are completely logged out before you click on this link. This will take you directly to the QBOA advanced sample company. Now you'll get this little pop-up, the security verification. Go ahead and uh, check off that you are not a robot because you are certainly not a robot. <laughs> um, and when you do that, that is going to pull up the advanced sample company for you. Now, if you've worked in the regular sample company before, you may look at this and say, hey, this looks like the exact same thing. There are actually a lot of different features in this particular advanced sample company versus the other one. So you definitely wanna make sure that you are in this one, especially since the rest of the exercises that build on this one, um, you will be using some features that are used in the advanced sample company open only. So to get started from the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over transactions and then click on chart of accounts. So over here on the left side, here is that transactions, hover over that and then click on chart of accounts. We're gonna click on new right here. And we're going to be setting up a total of six equity accounts. Two of them are going to be parent or umbrella accounts for each of the partners for both Craig and Jerry. And then for each partner, there is going to be sub accounts. One that's for owner's contribution account, which is for money that they put into the business. And then an owner's distribution account, which is for money that they take out of the business. So we're going to start with creating them for Craig. We already clicked the plus new or the new button. So now we just need to select equity because this is the type of account we are creating. Now in the save account under field, we want to select equity. So click the down arrow and select equity. We want this account that we are creating now to be a sub account of equity. So that is why we are putting it here. In the tax form section field, we need to select partners equity. Click on the down arrow, scroll down until you find partners equity. Go ahead and click on that. The account name field, we want to name this Craig Carlson Capital. So go ahead and type that in the um, account name box. There we go. And now we simply just need to save it. So click on the green save button. Now the one that we just created is that parent or umbrella account for Craig. So now we have to add those two sub accounts that we talked about before. Once again, we're gonna click on new. And again, this is an equity account. So click on equity for the type. 
we're going to save the account under this time Craig Carlson Capital. So click the down arrow and this is the one we want because we are creating a sub account of this uh, parent account we created just before this one. The tax form section field needs to be changed to partner contributions. So click the down arrow. It's a couple above. Go ahead and click on that. And then for the name of this account, we are going to type partner contributions, Craig Carlson. So in the account name field, go ahead and type that. Contribution Carlson. I spell that right? Yep, okay. Um, once you have it in there, go ahead and click on the save button. And now we need to create the other sub account for Craig. Again, click that plus new, or not plus, I keep saying plus new, that new button. Go ahead and click on equity. This one is again going to be saved under Craig Carlson Capital. So click that down arrow, click on Craig Carlson Capital. And then this for the tax form section needs to be changed to partners distribution. Now go ahead, partner distributions. And then the account name for this one is going to be partner distributions, Craig Carlson. So go ahead and click in that and then type that in there. Partner distributions, Craig Carlson. Okay, great. And now we're going to click on the green save button. All right, so we've done them all for Craig. So now let's add the accounts for Jerry. We're going to do the same thing that we just did. Click on the new button. Again, click on equity. It's the same type of account. This one is going to be the parent or umbrella account for Jerry. So we need to save this account under equity. Go ahead and do that. The tax form section field is going to be partners equity. Click in the down arrow, scroll down until you find that one right there. The account name for this one is going to be Jerry Joffitt's Capital. So click into the account name type or the, the account name field. There we go. And go ahead and type that in. Jerry Joffitt's Capital. And then you're going to click on the green save button. All right, let's create those two sub accounts now. Once again, click on new and then click on equity. In the save account under field, this is a sub account of the parent account we just created, so it needs to be saved under Jerry Joffitt's capital. Click the down arrow, select his name right there. In the tax form section, we're going to do this one for partner contributions. Click the down arrow, just a couple above there. Go ahead and click on that. And then the account name is going to be partner contributions, Jerry Joffitz. So, whoops, Par partner contributions, Jerry Joffitz. Oops, there we go. Okay, and then once again, we are just going to go ahead and save this one when we are done. All right, one last one to do. I'm sure you know how to do it at this point. Click on the green new button, select equity. The account is going to be saved under Jerry Joffitt's capital. So click the down arrow, select that one. In the tax form section, it is partner distributions this time, which is right above there. In the account name field, we're going to type partner distributions, Jerry Joffitt's. Distribution, Jerry Joffitz. All right, and then just click on the green save button. And there we go, we have created now all six accounts. But let's look at how this is in the chart of accounts. We'll sort by account type so that they're all grouped together. Go ahead and click on account type. Um, and when you do, you will probably have to scroll towards the bottom here. Let's keep going. There's a lot of accounts. Okay, great. Here we go. So here we see the one for um, Jerry Joffitt's capital and then the partner distributions and contributions that um, are the sub accounts. And you can tell that they're sub accounts because there's this little space in between. So they are going to roll up to him. Um, if you click on the next button, you can scroll back to the top. You can see the same ones here for Craig Carlson set up the exact same way. So there you go. You have now set up all of the partnership accounts. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. 
Be sure to leave this session of the Advanced Sample Company open as you will need for the next exercise in the cardio section where we practice importing batch invoices. And I will see you in the next video.